The Scott expedition takes its name from Captain Robert Falcon Scott, one of the most eminent and iconic explorers of the Edwardian golden age of exploration. Scott led two expeditions to Antarctica, the second of which was the ill-fated Terra Nova expedition. Scott and his team left England in June 1910 uh, aboard a three-masted wooden sailing ship called the Terra Nova. The expedition had a number of significant scientific and, and geographical objectives, but these groundbreaking studies would ultimately be eclipsed by the team's attempt to be the first to reach the South Pole. After months of preparation that included laying food and storage depots, Scott led a team of five men to reach the Pole on foot. They arrived at 90 degrees south on the 17th of January 1912, only to find they'd been beaten to it by the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and his team who were travelling using dog sleds. Amundsen had arrived at the Pole four weeks earlier. Scott's party turned for home, struggling through some of the most extreme weather conditions ever recorded in the region. Their progress was painfully slow and each day took its toll on the team members. Frostbite, illness and injuries were magnified by strong winds, low temperatures and by the harsh terrain of Antarctica. By the 20th of March, Scott, Wilson and Bowers, the only three survivors, were just 11 miles from their largest depot of food and fuel, but a fierce blizzard prevented any advance. Their supplies soon ran out completely and they perished, exhausted and probably hypothermic, in their tent. Scott's last diary entry was made on the 29th of March, 1912, and ended with the words, Outside the door of our tent, it remains a scene of whirling drift. I do not think we can hope for any better things now. We shall stick it out to the end, but we are getting weaker, of course, and the end cannot be far. In the century since Scott wrote these words, there have been films, documentaries, and dozens of biographies, yet no one has even attempted to finish his journey. It's that challenge that has been a source of motivation for me for many years, and I'm proud and excited to say that I'm finally in a position to do just that. Along with my teammate Tarka, I'm setting out to retrace Scott's entire 1800 mile round trip to the South Pole on foot, an expedition that will be the longest unsupported polar journey in history.